Uh, Connor, thanks for joining us here on FEI TV. It's been a momentous week. It's finally looked like we're going to start that path back to football to get those testing done. First positive big step, I suppose. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, um, it was a horrible couple of months there, I think, for everybody. And But look, um, at least that we can see a bit of light now. And uh, we got our f uh, first testing done there. So hopefully, um, you know, all going well. As captain, uh, have you felt an extra responsibility to reach out to the players during this time? Have you been in touch d during this period? Yeah, well, well uh, we have done. Uh, we have a, um, a WhatsApp group there. So all the lads that have been, you know, like in contact with each other and any message coming from the manager, and, um, you know, uh, would go through me and then I would get on to the players and anyone that has any problems or anything that wants to report back to the manager or the club that they would contact me. And um, and I try and sort little things out for them. So, look, everything's been all right so far. Um, everybody's just eager to get back and up and running uh, back to some sort of uh, normality, you know, under these circumstances. Yeah, the P PFI uh, did a did a, 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 a test. I suppose that what eighty seven percent of the players came back and said they're eager to get back. Did you sense that eagerness in your in the squad as well? Yeah, absolutely. You know. Um, like uh, we've built a good squad this year with Declan and um, his backroom team and you know like uh, we're looking forward to the season and uh, we were hoping to have a good season and just unfortunately then uh, this virus came upon us and halted the whole season and the whole um, the whole League of Ireland unfortunately but look hopefully as I said there's a bit of light now that we've got our tests and um, a first set of tests and done and hopefully we can go on then. And this 14 tournament it's going to be organised it's a uh... It'd be a positive to, for the four teams, you know, who are going to be competing in Europe to get some good practice, but some high quality fixtures as well. Yeah, well, it is, you know, like uh, it'd be good to get out back on the pitch and everybody's eager to do that. And hopefully all going well and um, hopefully we can get us like um, a set date for the league to uh, get up and run and resume. And um, so I suppose, yeah, so it's a big positive for everybody. How have you found the lockdown and, you know, more importantly, keeping fit? Have you been able to do much to yourself, Connor? Um, it's been tough. It's been tough, I'm not going to lie. Um, you know, because at the start, you know, um, I think it was a Thursday afternoon now. We just finished training. We were supposed to play Sligo um, at home in the Brandywell on the Friday. And we got the call after uh, training on the Thursday that the game was going to be, you know, uh, called off. And no one really knew what to expect. And, um so we didn't know if we'd be back in a week, two weeks, three weeks, whatever it was. And so, um, you know, that uh, we've just been training ever since then. And, you know, obviously it doesn't look likely that we're going to get back uh, to league action in June. That was uh, supposed to be or July. Um, so, like, uh, we have been training every week now. It's about nine or ten weeks, I think, uh, nonstop. And without knowing um, a date to go back playing um, is very difficult for players because... Uh, we've just come through a pre-season and we just started off. I think we played four or five games and we've been late, like we've been put in hold now. But we've been training individually five, six times a week, and it, like it is tough and uh, trying to keep um, like uh, yourself motivated and doing that every day. Like it has been really tough. So hopefully, as I said, um, there that you know that uh, the first round of testing's done, and um, if we can get this tournament up and running, hopefully there's a set date then to resume for um, uh, the league. And obviously, you know, you're very candid there. And But obviously, I suppose, looking forward, it's, there's so much to look forward to for Derry because, you know, Europe's just over the horizon. And obviously, that is such a momentous thing for yourself and the players to look forward to, to bring this club into Europe. Yeah, absolutely. I loved every game I've played in Europe before. and played against some uh, big teams and big stadiums against uh, massive crowds. And... Um, you know, I had to play with Derry in Europe would be brilliant as well. Um, and so hopefully, you know, like if we can get a good tie and hopefully it goes ahead, um, that uh, hopefully we can get a good positive result. Well, hopefully we'll see you back on the football pitch soon, Connor. And uh, thanks for spending a bit of time with us today. No problem at all, Karen. All good.